All right, Johnny, we're back um, with lesson number two. Great job on lesson one, by the way. The rolls came out fantastic. I think we learned a lot, and you are getting really good at uh, flying the Marchetti. Now, you. you're doing great. Now we're actually totally set up to do acro lesson number two. Ooh. We're gonna do loops uh, in this lesson. In the loop, there's a couple of things that are gonna be uh, different than doing the roll, of course. Um, the first thing is, is that we're changing axis. So we start off with the roll with this axis and looking straight ahead. In the loop, it's really gonna be the vertical axis. It's going yeah. the other way, lateral, right across the wing line. So we're gonna need to change our, our, our visual perception of where we're gonna look to make this happen. So the first thing we do again is dive for speed. Every time we begin a maneuver, it's important to start with the appropriate airspeed to do the thing. So yeah. when we do this thing, we wanna get going fast. So we need to be going at least 160. We're most likely gonna push into the 170, 180 knot range, diving for speed. Then before we begin the maneuver, get level, get straight. Don't, don't rush it. You wanna get as square as you can. Finding wings level in aerobatics is, is, is important. Then the next thing we do is three, two, one, tighten up our stomach and pull and get the airplane going up and over the top. We tip our head back, we look at the horizon, see how we're doing. Are we still straight? Are the wings nice and level? If they are, you're doing great. Coming down the backside, look at your wing tip and tighten up your stomach muscles a second time as you pull out of this thing, you'll be going on the same direction that you began. All right, let's do it, let's go flying, here we go. Nose is coming down, we're accelerating now, we're gonna go fast, we're gonna go uh, uh, below right through the 150, okay. we're gonna go to 170, 180 knots, oh, nose wow. is coming okay. down, accelerate, gently push. Oh yeah, we need more speed to get over the top of the loop, here we go, nose is down, okay. gently push. We're lined up on saddleback, nose is down, gently push. A little steeper dive. All right. Really steep. A little steeper, a little more nose down. That's, steeper, okay. That's about eight degrees nose down. Oh yeah, a little steeper, you're good. A little bigger dive, a little more. All right. We're nice and straight, wings are level. Look at your wingtips. Yeah. Here we go, tighten up your stomach muscles in three, two, one, and right. smooth, steady pull. Here we go, pull, pull, pull. A little step, harder this step, time, keep step. it tight. Look at your wings, pull a little harder. A oh. little harder, a little harder, a little right, harder. Right, keep right, that right, wing right. moving, keep that wing moving, keep that wing moving, keep that wing moving. Over the top, a little more pull, we're getting slow here. Look up, a little bit of right pedal. See how we're crooked? A little right pedal, a little right pedal. And see how it swings the nose right? It does, it does, nice. yeah. That's looking much better. Tighten up your stomach in three, two, one, and pull right, a little right, harder. Right. Whoa. Awesome. Check your heading. We're a little right of Saddleback. Yeah. But you saw we got up and over the top. That came out pretty good, it's right? Good. Climbing left turn, a little bank, a little pull. Back pressure on the stick. I wanted you to see the first one. Gently pull, back on the stick, pull a little harder. A little bank, a little pull, we'll go the other way. Now we're going to climb and reverse course. We call this a, a like a course reversal. This is like a, like a, uh, a wing over, a climbing left, yeah. an immelman, a climbing left and then roll out to the right. Yeah, a little yeah, back pressure. Yeah, it was pressure. like an Oh, wow. See that? Yeah. So pop up, roll out. Okay, for your first loop, amazing. That came out really fantastic. The key to the loop is to get your speed up. You need to have enough speed to get up and over the top, which is critical, right? So we dive for 170, 180 knots. If you start the maneuver from too slow a speed, say 140, now you wouldn't have enough speed to even make it over really very efficiently or effectively. So, so 140, you're going to get to about here, and then it may just kind of flop over the top, which would be totally not, not good at all. So dive down for speed, tons of speed. The more speed you have, the more, the more capability you have. Straight back on the stick. Make sure your wings stay level, which you did. No left or right. We want to stay as square as possible. We lined up on Saddleback Mountain out here, but we ended up slightly right of Saddleback. So what causes that? Let's think about it. So we pull back on the stick. If we're lined up on Saddleback straight ahead and we stayed straight as an arrow, we would come out on Saddleback, but we came out right. We must have drifted a little left to torque, remember? We got a little bit of a left turning tendency on this thing and at low speeds and high power settings, you're gonna find yourself getting skewed left like that. This is going to happen every single time. So if you pull back on the stick and you get slow here, you're going to need a little bit more right rudder as we crest the top of the loop, maybe even from here, from about this, this position, a little bit of right rudder coming in to kind of hold it straight. Don't let that thing get going sideways. You see that, how that could happen. Just a few degrees left will cause the nose to exit the maneuver out to the right. Go to the right, okay. Yep, here comes a ship on the nose. I'm going to put your gun sight on. We'll oh yeah, I see. We'll, we'll use him as reference. So put your gun sight down on him. 
Okay. And pretend that we're going to strafe the uh, that ship. He's pretty far out there. We're not actually going to do that, but it's a good lineup technique. It's it's getting it you is. square. And this way, when we finish this thing, you'll have a, a proper heading of what we began on, so we can exit at the same one. Power's coming up. Nose is coming down. And stay aligned on it, but just on this trajectory. That looks great. Okay. Yeah, we're pretty close. Looks good. Alignment. Perfect. Here comes 170. And here comes 3,000 feet at the bottom. And tighten up your stomach muscles. Okay. We're going to pull from 3,000 feet, 170. Look at your wingtips. In three, two, one. Right. We're going to tighten up. Here we go. We're going to pull, pull, pull. Look out the sides. Pull a little harder. Here oh. we go. We're going to do it. Smoke's coming on. All right. All right. Look Whoa. at those wings. Now we're going to keep looking. Now tip your head back. We're going over the top. Look at this. Oh. Look straight up. Look at this. Tip your head way back. Oh. Look at the alignment. Tiny bit of right metal. See that? Yeah. Look at the alignment. Yeah. Look at the alignment here. We're going to aim for it. Aim for it. Tighten your stomach up. A little more pull. Look at the alignment straight toward that ship. 3,000 at the bottom. You see how precise that was? Yeah, yeah. So we came out within 100 feet. We're right on the heading. And we totally did a loop. Yeah. Backflip right onto heading. Right hand turn. Little bank, little pull. Okay. You got it. Little back pressure. Bank and pull. Awesome, right? So you can see that the key is, is having some reference points. When we do this out over the ocean, you got to find a ship. You got to find a mountain peak. You got to find a... Uh, a, a point of an island or something. So we line up on a, on, a, on a solid heading. This way we know for sure that when we finish, are we still on that same heading at the end? So the other thing we're working on is to start the maneuver at say 4,000 feet, zoom up to 5,000 feet, crest the top of the maneuver, touch your right pedal across the top, coming down the backside, you're gonna tighten up your stomach, relaxing the right pedal. Now we might even squeeze a little left rudder as we exit and then finish at the same altitude we began, going on the same heading that we began towards Saddleback. So that's what we're hoping for. Let's see how we do in the next one. Looking good, brother. Nose down, accelerate. Right. Check this ball, make sure we're square, we're straight. Little tiny bit of left pedal at the high speed, just a little right oh, there, left perfect. Pedal, okay. At high speed left. Here we go, three, two, one. Tighten up and pull, pull, pull. Right. 3,400 at the bottom. A little harder pull. A little more. There's two and a half. Oh. A little shot of smoke. There you go. A little more pull. That looks fantastic. Wow. Okay. As we get slow, touch your right pedal across the top. Look up. Get yourself right aligned with the smoke. Look okay. at that smoke. All right. Yeah. Look at it. A little yeah. bit to the right. See how the nose is a little up. There you go. Now relax. Hold that. Wait. Hold wait. 4,500 at the top. Three, two, one. Pull a little harder now. Right. Pull a little harder. Oh, wait, wait. A little right harder. A little harder. A little harder. Relax the pull at the end. All right. 3,200 at the bottom. A little more pull. We're good. Wow. High five, man. We got that, that was one. ridiculous. Climbing left turn, 180 back to the left. That was fantastic. Got Bank it. left and pull. Bank left and pull. All right. Nice job. Okay, so you kind of see you're getting it. You did exactly what I did. We might have ended up just a touch low, but for your first perfectly round loop on heading, on altitude, I think it was really nice.